Time for a fish room update. Hey YouTube, it's Brian again, coming at you with a fish room update for September 2016. Thought I would uh, get one out here and uh, take you through everything, show you what's different, what's the same, and you know how the routine works. But uh, we'll start up here today with the discus tank. As you can see, they're all doing well. Um, no losses or anything like that over the last several months now. I'm real happy with all these uh, all these fish in this tank. Um, one thing that's been happening is this uh, this yellow guy here, or girl actually, and this this red one, red and white. These two, they've been spawning about every three weeks, and they spawn right over here on this uh, filter um, inlet. And they were spawning just last night and then overnight or whatever. I don't know if they do or other fish eat the eat the eggs, but it's kind of interesting that those two paired up, especially with the size difference and everything. But um, another thing you'll probably notice in here is I do have some uh, schooling fish in here now. I've got the serpe tetras, tetras, sorry. I uh, grabbed about 30 of them. I'll probably grab about 30 more uh, in the near future, but just wanted to start with 30 to make sure they do okay. They're big enough where they're not going to get eaten like the cardinal tetras do with these bigger discus. And they actually, right now they're not doing it, but they, they actually school quite a bit tighter than a lot of tetras. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's kind of the look I was looking for. You can see several of them around there, but yeah. Uh, so the discus are doing good. Uh, not much else to really report on them at this point but uh, they're always fun to look at and uh, still really enjoying them this guy right here is one of my favorite just love the coloration on him so we'll head on into the office quick and then we'll take you downstairs um, Giardini Arowana he's still in here Doing good. Got the pleco back there and then the clown loaches, they're still doing good as well. Um, over here we've got the uh, the 90 gallon. Uh, Monte Carlo carpet still growing really nicely in here and as you can see I added um, some Cardinal Tetras. The Crystal Shrimp project in here just was not working out. Um, I don't know if it was due to the CO2 or what but I just couldn't keep them alive. So I decided to grab some Cardinal Tetras and a bunch of Amanos. I ordered about 30 Amanos. You can see here's one on this rock right here. We'll zoom in. Some others down here. And then the other day, uh, one of my local buddies, Carl, was over um, selling me some uh, blue bolts. And he mentioned that he had a ton of uh, cherries. So I grabbed 100 cherries from him and also put them in here. And they seem to be doing good so far. You can see they're on the back wall and all over in the carpeting. So I'm hoping that uh, that colony will kind of start to expand and just get a crap ton of uh, cherries in here but so they're all different grades some of them are a lot redder than the others and not really important to me in this tank just uh, just want to have some shrimp um, cruising around on the carpet is kind of the idea so but yeah everything's going good um, you can see a chunk of Monte Carlo missing there. I have been selling Monte Carlo uh, to those interested. I just usually sell it in two by two portions so that I'm not taking a huge chunk out of it. And uh, you know, if I can pull it out behind rocks or whatever, that works best. So if you are looking for Monte Carlo, hit me up and we'll we'll work something out. A couple of nice balls of fissidens in here too have been really taking off. So and a 
cool. But um, that's really it for up here. Uh, we'll take you downstairs now and show you what's going on down there. Not a ton of changes, but there are a couple. Um, we'll start off as we usually do when we head down the stairs with Cheeto here. He's still doing great. For those of you that are new or don't know, this is a what they call a Midas cichlid or Amphilophus citronellus is the scientific name. Uh, this guy is one of my favorite fish and just has tons of personality, really fun to be around and interact with. And he looks pretty sweet too. Down below is his brother. And actually, I'm really starting to like this guy almost better than Cheeto now. Um, really like the, the, the heavy orange coloration in him. Um, and uh, he's really got a ton of personality too. And then we've got the female over here, more of a, a white colored Midas. But um, yeah, they're doing well, both Midas. And really, really enjoy both of these fish in the fish room. Um, over here is what I've got left of my Redis latest grow outs. They're starting to get quite a bit bigger. Um, I've sold off quite a bit and I've got about enough to sell. I'm going to keep some for myself, but I've got enough to sell one more batch of 10. Um, I've been advertising them on Fish Keepers Classifieds for a few months and been selling them off slowly but surely. So if you're interested in the one batch of 10 that I've got left, hit me up and we'll we'll uh, get that uh, taken care of for you. Then down below here is the magma flower horn. He thinks it's time to eat, so he's up at the top. He's doing good too. Fun to interact with. Alright, over here is the uh, Kampha. This is Colossus. He's doing well, growing nicely. A lot of personality with him as well. Really fun fish to keep. Glad I got him. lights in the background, sorry about that, but what can you do? I suppose I can turn them off. <laughs> uh, down below is a new addition, this is a male um, red devil. This guy's got some lips on him. Uh, this is uh, an F3 that actually I spawned in my fish room quite a while ago. Sold some fry off to local guy Bob Randall here. He's growing them out, and I've got some back from him now. I've got—I actually had a male and a female here, but he killed the female uh, overnight the first night. And I'll get to them later, but the other ones are over there. Another uh, pair. So um, we'll do a separate shrimp update. Uh, shrimp tanks are still doing well down here. Uh, over here are my uh, Modas from Sean Hyden. Uh, male is really coming along nicely. Uh, female recently got a little roughed up. Um, seems like what happens is they spawn and they eat the fry or the fry die off or whatever. And then soon after that he starts getting really aggressive with her. Last time I had to divide them. This time it wasn't quite as bad and I kind of just kept my eye on her. I want her to be able to stand up to him, which she, she's doing a lot better of. And uh, so she's kind of in the process of healing up now and they're about due to start, maybe in a week or so, they'll probably spawn again. So, uh, but they're doing good overall. Really enjoy having these uh, these guys in my fish room. Cool shot of the pleco. I usually don't show the plecos, but uh, we'll show that one. She's really got nice colors, and so does he. Um, these real Blancos, you know, they're, you can't beat them when it comes to motos. Alright, uh, down below here is my real Magumbi, Halen, the male. 
And then his female's back over there. Not too much to report on them other than he's he's growing like a weed lately. Um, real cool fish. He's starting now at feeding time when I open the lid up here. He comes out about this far as his uh, head. Let's see if we can get him to do it even though I'm not actually feeding right now. Alright, this latest does the same thing too. I'll see if I can show you. Of course I'm doing this and probably what will happen is he bites me on camera. Grab some power feed here. Southern Delight power feed is what I feed um, these guys. I'm going to switch hands and see if we can. <laughs> you know, the camera's there, so he's doing different things than usual. He's usually way more aggressive at feeding time, and like I say, he comes out of the water. There, a little bit, not as much as he usually does, but... Anyway, sweet fish, really love having him. Uh, we'll move on over here to the reddest latest tank. She's hiding back here right now. Here she comes. And then I've got these sequia still in here. Feed these guys and see. Again, power feed is what I'm feeding these guys. And he just doesn't like that camera up there either. funny when this one gets food at the top you see his nuchal come out of the water like pretty far actually let's see if we can't <laughs> but yeah doing well um, down below are the uh, Hadiensis pair. There's the male over here and the female. They have not spawned again um, since the one time that they laid eggs and, uh, and the pleco ate them. But we're just going to continue to be patient with these guys. It's definitely growing quite a bit since I got them, maybe about an inch. And then down here are the other Red Devil pair that I got from Bob. She is hanging out in her pot right now. They seem to be getting along good. They've spawned at Bob's house before I got them. So they are a proven pair. Not that it matters, I'm not in the market to raise some red devils up at this point. I've done that before, but thought they'd, they'd look cool in a couple of my tanks. So um, over here, a few uh, moda fry that I decided to pull been feeding them. I just put in a few pellets of uh, veggie krill and that holds together pretty good for a day or two. They can eat off of that. And then some sequia that I've had for several months now. And then up above here are the, the rest of the um, Hadiensis that I kept. These two here have really been pairing up a lot lately, hanging out together near this tube. I've never even gone up here to look to see if anything's gone on in that tube by way of spawning or something, but uh, they 
run anybody off that comes over here. And we've got two more in here as well. I think it's this one that is basically when when colored up 100 per, you know 100 percent or when she's completely colored up she's all 100 percent black and it looks really cool so so anyway i think there's four maybe five in here that i'm still just kind of holding on to to see what happens so anyway but other than that, that's really about it for now. Not a ton of change uh, other than adding the Red Devils. I got rid of the rest of the Motas that I was looking to get rid of. Probably, I think in my last video, I was still looking to do that. So, But we'll end the video here with a few shots of uh, this guy. Um, you know, like I always say, make sure if you're a new subscriber that you subscribe to my channel. Or if you're a new viewer, I put out regular update videos and other types of videos as well um, regarding the aquatic hobby. I do videos on my fish tanks, my shrimp tanks, and my reef tank. So I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Um, if you have any questions or comments or looking uh, looking to buy anything that I may or may not be selling, uh, my email will be below. You can hit me up there as well. And always, uh, too, uh, make sure that you go check out all the members of Team Aquatic Support. Their YouTube channels will be below. Make sure you go over to Aquatic Support Community on Facebook and uh, get involved there. Check that out. But yeah, until next time, guys, thanks for watching.